Welcome to the Chalbotics Canister Assembly and Disassembly video. This is Paris, and she's going to help you learn how to assemble and disassemble our canisters. Let's start with one of the large canisters. You'll notice that the bottom half of the large canisters have one side with a narrow opening. Keep that side down. Put the wide side facing you. Then take hold of one of the paddles. You'll notice that the paddle has a hole through the middle with a flat side. You'll also notice that the paddle has a wider side and a narrower side. Insert that paddle into the canister with the flat side of the hole down and make sure that the wide side of the paddle matches the wide side of the canister. Pick up the paddle shaft. You'll notice that there's a flat side on that as well. It's designed to match up with the flat side of the hole through the paddle. Slide the shaft through the paddle holes and make sure it locks into place on the far side. For the large canister, make sure that you're inserting the pin through the wide side of the canister first. This is a latch. This is the method we use to make sure that everything stays connected. You'll notice that the latch has a little round section. Keep that section down when you're inserting it into the grooves on the side of the canisters. Take the top half of the canister and go ahead and put that on the bottom half. Then secure the latches by swinging them away from the center of the canister. This is a shuffler. You'll notice on the top of the shuffler there's a wide tab and a narrow tab. These are meant to match the grooves on the sides of the canisters. There's a wide groove and a narrow groove on each side. Make sure when you insert the shuffler, you're matching up the wide groove to the wide tab. Repeat the process on the other side. Consult the ingredient guide to find out if you need to use a shuffler. The last step is to put on the lid and swing those latches away from the center of the canister. Putting the small canisters together is a similar process. The bottom half of the small canisters have one narrow side. Keep that side down. Just like the big paddle, this paddle has a flat side of the hole. When you insert the paddle, make sure that that hole is face down and also make sure that the wide side of the paddle is matching up with the wide side of the canister. Match up the flat side of the shaft with the flat side of the hole through the paddle. Slide the shaft all the way through until it clicks into place on the other side. Unlike the large canisters, you're going to insert the shaft from the narrow side of the canister. Put the top half of the canister on the bottom half and secure by swinging the latches away. Make sure that the latches lock into place. Then go ahead and put the lid on and swing the latches to secure. Now let's take a canister apart. Undo the latches and set the lid aside. You can then empty any remaining contents, but be careful the shufflers don't come out. Remove the shufflers manually. Set them aside. Undo the latches at the midpoint, take the top half off, and set that aside. You can then pull out the paddle shaft, set it aside, take out the paddle, and you've finished disassembling a canister. Follow the exact same procedure to take apart a small canister. The top half, the bottom half, the shufflers, the lid, the paddle can all go into the dishwasher, or you can use the three compartment sink method to wash them. You do not have to remove the latches before you put it in the dishwasher. Thanks for watching this video by Chowbotics. You can always learn more at chowbotics.com.